My name is Tijinibus, and welcome back to another episode of We Who Are About To Die. In this episode, we are going to carry on trying our challenge run here, and see how far that'll take us. This character does need 100,000 gold to ascend, so we are going to try and achieve as much of that today as possible. We can also sell a bunch of our gold here, sorry, our fame, for gold at some point. And I think we're going to end up doing that that's uh, fairly soon. Let's just try and gain some money here first. Um, anything in the shop that we need here? We do need a left leg, definitely, as I don't want to get destroyed, so we'll purchase that. And I don't think we need anything else here. There's another pole arm, which could have been the replacement. Fairly good replacement as well, actually. Double hit. Yeah, alright. It's basically the same thing. In terms of damage, yeah. Let's purchase this as one of our backups and see what we can sell here rather all right we can get rid of that just so we have an extra spot in our inventory and we should be good to go that weapon that we have here currently does need a bit of repairing but we can do that at a later stage and let's see if we can do any 1v many or not really that what i was looking for all aspens go in without weapons, same as this one. Maybe it'll be best to get this character up, but let's check our bets first. I oh, can't do any bets. Okay. Alright, we do the pit fight over here. Just so we can get the extra cash and... Obviously the durability as well as get Jordius up there a little bit as well. Okay. It is a two per side match, and I think we're against three or four other teams. Let's just grab some sort of weaponry here before we fine tune it a bit. I'd like a shield, thank you. There is a spear there, actually. Let's grab that, as it is more on the lines of what we are aiming for here. Okay. Let's just try and stab this dude. Never mind. Let's do a bit of a swing, get him that way. Just to save our ally here a little. And I'll grab this weapon here. Okay. Let's try and do an overhead here. Against someone, at least. Oh, shit. Can this thing swing this way? Oh, it can. Usually that direction with these weapons is just a butt of the weapon that he uses. So that's actually quite a nice surprise. One block. Come on. He doesn't swing as fast as I would like him to with this weapon, but that's good practice, I guess. Ooh, just took his helmet off and his head as well. Well, his head's still on, but at least it's crushed. Okay. There's our ally now against Spartan looking dude. Or Roman looking dude, whichever way you want to see it. Okay. Get him over the head again. Move backwards. Block there. Okay. Took his helmet off. And killed him. And we'll try and swing this way against this dude. Come on, don't attack my ally, please. Look at the head. Come on. Okay. 
We're doing fairly well on stamina right now, so... Let's see. Enemy was just standing there bobbing his head before he got got knocked off. Alright. We're moving forward here. Hit him. And took his legs out from under him. Okay, that was actually a fairly easy fight. We barely got any damage done to us, so bonus. And because of the stipulation, none of our armor and everything else degraded. So that actually worked out fairly well for us. We do, or we are looking for another chess piece here to, as a, a slight replacement for this one. Maybe I'll just keep looking around for a better one in the meantime. Everything else here, we don't exactly need. And every time I, I look here, there's something better that I would want. Would be awesome to have this, but um, I'm going to maybe hold it for now. Let's do some training here. I think I forgot to do that last round. But that is fine. Like the draw, shrouded. That is what we are going to do next. Let's see, shrouded fight. 70% health, definitely going to happen. Definitely going to happen under 5. I don't know who I'm fighting against, so I can't say if I'm going to do 2 kills at all or not. So, we'll just do the shrouded fight here quick, and generate ourselves some more cash there. Ooh, and we get an entourage for us, so we actually start with two extra characters, as opposed to their one, it looks like. Or at least from what I can see from the shadows here. That kind of seems like a bit of an overkill. But at least it was a shrouded fight, so I suppose I couldn't complain too much. I'll just hit him over the head here. Ooh, pluck there. Once more. I want to try and get the killing blow here, if possible. Get some extra fame there. Our ally just threw his spear into the ass or somebody else. Yeah, he should be going down soon, I guess. I think we have hit him fairly or good few times already. And I'm just hitting my own guys here at, at this point. There's just so many people waiting on this man. And he has finally gone down. I don't know what the hell he uh, did to deserve that, but... No matter, we won. For a small amount of gold, we did get a lot of payout for it. So, I suppose it wasn't all too bad. We must try and get Valerius up again. Um, the pouch. Stamina regen, yes. Just so we can start earning a bit more gold. Oh, shit. Okay, we can now place bets and our scholar upgrades have gone. Alright, not exactly what I was hoping for, but better than nothing, I suppose. Let's see here. We get two helmets here. Let's sell the one. I think because sooner or later we are going to need a backup armor. This one here is a lot better one over here, but we don't exactly need a very strong one right now. So I'll just purchase that one as a backup and keep the other cash there. Can I do this, actually? Okay, no, I can't even do that. I was just going to do that to see where we stand in the gold versus fame ratio. But we'll have to wait until next round for that. Let's first see what we are up against here. Hey, another shrouded spoilers to the victor. We get to keep whatever weapon we take out here. So I think we're going to do that. And it's shrouded as well as the main reason why we are actually doing it. We'll put this weapon down here. 
And we don't know if we are going to have any allies or not, so it's maybe a bit of an odd battle where we are running around looking for a weapon. But it should work out in our favor, like always. Alright, we are fighting in the Lenonian Theatre again. With what seems to be against one person, not exactly what I wanted because... Now we'll have to find a weapon, which there is... A few to choose from here. Oh shit, never mind. It's a 1v2. That's what I would want. If they could drop a, a shield, that would be awesome, or... I'll have to kill one of them for the shield. Okay. Stab him there. Come on, pluck. Oh shit. We should be fine here, as long as I can get some sneaky hits in here. It should be alright. Here we go. Just one of them down would be fine, and then I can just Pick up the weapon here. Somewhere along the line. Block there. And hit him that side. Did not work. Okay. No more. Okay, they are getting a good few hits in here. Not what I'm wanting. Come on, see if I can stab him. Didn't work. Both of them have clamped up now. There we go. I'm trying to hit this dude here with the silver shield as much as I can. I think he has been getting a lot more damage than the other one. There we go. Block the side. Come on. Okay, this isn't working out at all. Okay, I took him down. Let's see if I can grab the shield here. There we go. I'm a lot more protected now, so I should be able to win this fight fairly simply. Oh, shit. Damn. He did throw away his other weapon in favor of this one, so I think I'm going to go for that one when we do the pickup at the end of this match. That was a bit of a freeze there for some reason. Okay, so we're going to drop this, we're going to pick this up. And we'll sell these at the end of the match. Once so we can get out of here. Quite a bit of gold. A hell of a lot of fame for that as well. Okay. No, we don't want any statues. As that is a waste of money. There is a sword. It only sells for 850 or 860. And the shield. Okay. What I could have done was try and heal this thing up in the meantime during that fight, but uh, I wasn't thinking that far ahead. Let's see here, look at the draw. And an entourage fight for the pouch. Might be worthwhile trying to do that one to get the pouch up. Let's see here, a 1v1 and another 1v1. Okay, let's check our bets here. Three surviving allies. We are going to have an entourage, so that might be possible, actually. Get five kills. Again, that's highly possible. I'll definitely get that. We'll get... For some reason, it's hard to get this damage. So I'm going to skip on that. Let's do the three surviving allies. And see what else we have available here to us. Nothing really much... That I want. Here's another weapon exactly the same as that I have already. So we're going to skip on that one. At some point we're going to need to look at healing some of our stuff. We're going to try and go for another round without needing to do that. But let's purchase that there. And we'll put here 120,000. And that brings us up to 78 thousand Calais, apparently. Okay. So we're doing fine here at the moment. We'll just do these fights and get 
Okay, so insurance funds, and I think it's going to go down. And get this extra bit of gold here, so we can carry on ascending the other countries that we have not yet ascended. Okay, so we should have an extra two on our side here. Yeah? I'll just grab this shield. Okay. Shield and mace. There's a man here with a throwing spear. I don't think he's going to be able to do too much to me. Never mind. Another throwing spear he has. Again, didn't last very long. Oh shit, I just swung around and hit my own ally, I think he is. Yep, definitely. I do want to find a... a dual handed here. Okay, let's hit, crack him over the head here. Hit him this side. He should be going down soon. He has been taking quite a good few strong hits here. Especially on that unarmored side of his. Okay. In the chest, and he is downed. Is there anything else I can pick up and use here? I'm not seeing anything. Let's move our way to this man. Never mind. Or this one here, maybe. Okay, he does have a mace of sorts as well. A club. There we go. Hit him. Blocked over that side. Okay, every time I go in for a hit, he just jumps out the way. So, he has learned my tactics already. Okay, we'll move this way and hit him. Alright. I'm only doing small amount of damage here. Which isn't going to be too bad, as long as we can consistently do it, which doesn't seem to be happening right now. Let's move this way a bit. Let's go for an overhead. Oh shit. I hope this man doesn't come in here and take my kill. Took his helmet off. Get away, bud. Alright. Let's, let's try and do an overhead. Never mind. Did not work. Ah. Thought that was going to happen. Now I'm going to have to do a, another fight against this man. Never mind. He was completely uninterested in me. I think he's wanting another weapon. Sorry, another easier opponent to fight. So he can take more of my kills. But I'm not going to let him do that. Does somebody throw in a club into my face? It sure as hell looks like it. Come on, bud. This mace that I'm using is absolutely shit at, the po at this point. There we go. And took him down as well. Let's move this way. Oh shit. Okay. Hit him in the chest piece. Hit there. And... Never mind. Block one side. Okay. There. Do an overhead. Missed that one. Side. There is a dual-handed weapon here we can use. There we go. And we have won that fight, actually. I don't think we got our kills that we needed, as they were stolen from us at some point. But we did manage to get one payout there. Up to 87,000. So we're well on the way of getting that done. Let's see what kind of other fights we have here, just to see on the repairs. Spoils to the victor. Not really something I want to do right now. Prestigious. That's for six. That's for five. Then we'll do one more fight here for the 1v1. Just so we can get that large amount of payout there. When within two minutes definitely can happen with the gear that we are currently using. I don't think I'm going to really purchase anything here as we want to now steamroll up our way to the 
mark there. I don't know why I just healed for one, but that's fine. Then we'll do a little bit of training. Okay, the polearm is at 90. The 200 sword I think we were going for is at 62. Yeah. And what's our stamina looking like? Stamina is fairly high up. Let's do movement now so we can move a little bit faster. And yeah, I think that's going to be a, a good enough setup. When within two minutes. Can't get two dismemberments in this fight. I think that'll be fine. Yeah. Shit. He is using this very similar weapon to I am, so it's going to be a, a fairly even fight. He did get one or two good hits in there on me, but I seem to be doing a bit better. Perhaps his legs would be a easier target, but I have basically exposed that whole right side of his. That's keep hitting him here. Let's move backwards and block. Shit. There we go. Block there once more. And big, big, big hit in there. Need to finish this within two minutes. I have a minute left. Okay. Stamina is not doing too well. Okay. Blocked it once more, hitting me back. Now a full on minute left, and we have one. Okay, took him down in a good couple of hits, but he has gone down nonetheless. We took a bit more damage than we originally was hoping, but that is fine. We just need to make another 5,000 there. So let's try and do that now quickly, actually. Let's go here 25,000. Approve, and that has bring, brought us up to the threshold of what we are wanting. Okay. So. Now we'll check what things we can put here in our heirloom. Let's just sell something here. And we'll put this in our heirloom. Okay. Because we're going to re-roll, we might not even get that heirloom for the next character. I'm not really going to sell everything and put that over to the next character either, just in case. And we will ascend this character. For now, whichever character we get, we are wanting to re-roll for the Slave and Thrill Seeker Civilian. Alright. That is perfect. So we'll start a new run here and get our new character. Okay. A new character is definitely a slave. And what is his victory condition? Win over the population of Tarentia. Attain freedom through the fame of 10 or 100,000 gold. That's going to be fairly easy with the skill sets that we have now. And we're going to nickname this man Claudio after one of the commenters in the comments and fellow YouTuber who's also doing We Are About To Die videos. So let's hope this man can get his ascension as well. It's a luck of the draw fight there. We can get weaponry out of that, I think. We do need... I don't know why we need fame this time around for that, but that's fine. 50 damage to teammates. Get 4 kills, not gonna happen. 3 surviving allies could possibly happen, but... More than likely not. Oh, okay. So we do have the chest piece. It, they did fully heal it for us, so... Let's put that on since we didn't currently have anything there. Nothing in terms of healing we can do. 
I'm not too sure what weapon we are going to do with this character. We might just go with the age old. Age old sword. But for the time being we'll do movement and stamina. And we'll purchase four of those. And nothing else that we would want to purchase right now. Let's see how we would actually want to take off. Because that gives us negative 20. Why is it coming off? There it is. That gives us negative 20 fame multiplier. So I'm going to leave it on for now just as a bit of protection. And let's do this pit fight here at a rate. I don't think we're going to do any other bets here. Yeah, there's no bets there that I'm, I'm thinking we can actually get done with the state that we are in right now. Okay, we are fighting in the pits. We haven't seen this map in quite some time, actually. Now that I think about it. Maybe actually in the last run we didn't do it at all. Let's run off here and grab this mace. There was one further closer to me, but... Ah, never mind. Okay, hit him on the side there. I'm just swinging and I'm not hitting nothing with those hits. Come on. Right, we did sustain a bit of damage there. Not what we were wanting. One. Okay, let's move our way backwards here. Okay. Backwards. Alright, we aren't doing too bad here. We are fairly unskilled in everything at the moment, partly because we are a little bit of a slave. But we are going to look to change that up during the course of this run. If it goes well, this one. I'm sure it would. We've had enough practice and training. So hopefully we just don't get screwed over anywhere. And we're going to cook him down. On to the next. Cook him down. If there's our ally over there, that's fine. Let's overhead swing this man. Didn't work. Here's a yellow one. Let's go for him, rather. Avoid that axe of his, which we have done very beautifully. Let's stab him with the mace that we have here. I don't know how that works, but it did. For 15 damage, actually. So, <laughs> did quite well there. Took another man down. Damn, this character's actually doing extremely well in terms of his kills. Surprisingly, let's hit him away there a bit. Hit this man. Let's move our way backwards here. I think we are in the red team. Oh shit. Okay. We did massive damage to that man. A big spurt of blood. Let's move our way here. Took him down. And took this man's legs off. And we'll move our way to this guy. Overhead. Hit him. Took his shield away from his side. But we didn't capitalize on it. Neither did our allies here. Let's hit him in the head. Fantastic. Okay. We did sustain a lot more damage there than I would have liked, but we are wanting now to try and get throwing skill. Definitely going to do this one here. Thank you. Okay. So now do we get the axe? Because this thing here is going to break fairly quick. Damage versus shields. We do need... Or better everything at this point in time, actually. We can fight for the power. Spoilers to the victor. 
get to keep whatever weaponry we take out. Maybe we should do that and see what we can actually attain for ourselves. Um, get two kills, win under three minutes. That should definitely happen. I can't see why they're not, actually. Two kills. Yeah, we're going to keep the cash that we have right now. Let's do one heal here. We can't really do any upgrades because of lack of funds. We'll do un one unlock over here. We should actually unlock over here as well in the meantime. Spoilers to the victor fight. This weapon kind of sucks and you can't sell it for anything, so I'm going to keep it on me in this fight just so I have a bit of backup here. I'm going to take this footwear as well. A very small upgrade, but an upgrade nonetheless. And here is a scarf, which is a fair multiplier of negative 90. Not going to be beneficial to me at all. Let's do the spoilers to the victor here. And hopefully we can pull something out and get lucky like we did last time. And then we can decide what weapon we are going to use for this character. On his quest for fame. Okay. So we're against three here. We do have a, a shitty little mace, but very strong armor. Ah, never mind. I think I'm getting a bit ahead of myself here. Trying to head in where I shouldn't actually let's hit this man across the head he does have a nice sword that I would actually like so maybe that's something I will go and try and get once he is dead sit him there yeah that's basically the reason why I want to bring this weapon in okay let's move this way. We are getting more damage than I would have liked. Okay, we got a sword here. I was attacking this man actually, so let's carry on with that. Okay, took him down. Let's drop that, pick this, this one up, pick up his shield before anybody else comes along and takes it from us. The weapon that this man has is fairly rusted, so we don't want that. And it flew off, somehow. Okay, move backwards here. Okay, he's trying to attack him with a jug for some stupid reason, but not landing anything with it. Where on earth did that come and take me? Is there only one here? It looks like it. Let's do it overhead. Not working. Okay. I actually do want this man's shield, but it is a wooden shield, so I don't think it's going to last very long. Maybe I should keep with this little little one, but nah, it's good. I'll take the big one. Okay, I think we're getting away with the best gear that we possibly can here right now. So let's go ahead with that. Bed pound, we got a large amount over there. And we have ranked up. Plus 100 to... All characters, definitely going to do that one. Shop costs are increased by 10%. Nothing we can do about that right now. Okay. So we've got a simple shield here. Not too grand in the shop. Here's a better one, I think. It's hard to attack with this one though because of the shape of it. But we are needing a, another arm armor. Especially on that side, so let's purchase that. We do need a bit of healing. We are still saving up for everything over here. Disinfect and what what. And here's another luck of the draw fight going without weapons. What is this one? Another luck of the draw. And insurance entourage fight. Hmm. Let's see what bets we have here. Two dismemberments. Can't really guarantee that's going to happen. Bit hard to say this one. 
obviously this one here is going to have the better payout, but our damage incurred maybe a lot more than we would like. Hmm. We do need the cash though. Okay. So since we have a sword, we'll change the movement to one-handed sword here. And slowly get that up. So we have something to work towards. Let's do one more pit fight here, alright? To end this episode off. One with two surviving allies. We only have one. Speed dismemberments. Let's do that. We are using a fairly good sword. So we might get a payout there. And we have only seven Kalei left. Okay. I seem to have immediately forgot that it's a luck of the draw, so we're going to have to find a dis dismembering weapon while we are in here. There's a mace. Never mind. Let's grab a shield, just so we have some sort of protection. And we're one of the characters that's running around looking for a weapon when there are none. I've been in this position many times before. We'll have to wait for one of them to go down to take their weapon or something. I think I see a stick here. Never mind. Oh, there's a pole out. So we'll take this for now. Wait for a sword to pop up. Maybe the sword of this man here. Okay, do a bit of a stab there. Block the side, hit him. Backwards here, stab him in the head, didn't exactly work out so well. Okay, let's move backwards here a bit. Okay, I had stabbing is working, is that this weapon kind of sucks. I was just trying to... there we go. Let's drop that, pick up the sword here. Try and get our dismemberments done where we can. <laughs> Three sealed right in the back of his elbow there. Ah, never mind. This weapon's immediately going to break soon. So I'll see if we can get a couple of kits in here. Didn't work. Get a spear. I don't think we're going to do any decapitations with a spear. So we may have wasted that cash. But it was worth it in trying. There we go. Stabbed on the side of the head. And we're now moving on to the next character. Which could be either or these, actually. Does have a sword that I would want? Please. Okay. Let's move back here. Let's see if we can stab him. There we go. I'll push him back here a little. Alright, that arm that we got, that arm armor, is helping us here a great deal compared to what we had before. Get it there. Shit. Okay, I was gonna, hoping that he wouldn't run, so we can get that weapon of his. Stab him. Okay. Back here. Okay, took him down. Let's drop this. Pick that up. Okay, now we're in a better position in terms of weaponry to what we are training. Up there. Makes his head. Come on. So overhead to a sli side slide. Didn't work. Here comes somebody to steal our kill again. Ooh, okay, because somebody else flying there. This man is missing his helmet, so we'll try and take that out. Get a bit of high ground, make it 
easier for us. There we go. Move this way. Yeah, go for an overhead, yeah. Didn't work at all. There goes another character without any weapons. Hope he actually comes this way and not take our kill in the meantime. Sorry, bud. There we go. Got our second dismemberment. So hopefully that's going to count now. Block there. Look, he's a helmet or head off. So we definitely got them. This one here is, is extremely armored for some reason. That's early in the game. Is that our ally? Oh shit, no it's not. Okay, he's also quite armoured, this man. But not anymore, considering that I took his helmet off. Got that odd little shield on him. But the heavy armoured guy doesn't have a very strong weapon either, so... We are in luck here, in terms of surviving this one. Come on, buddy. Okay, took his weapon away from him. Took him down as well. Let's try and go in here and stab this man. Didn't work. Hit him. Hit him once more. And took him down completely. Alright, fantastic. We aren't doing too bad with this uh, slave character at the moment. But seems like we are getting along in the episode at the moment. So we are going to end this one here. And we shall pick up with this character next time in his quest for 100,000 fame. We're definitely going to take this here. That's an extremely strong left armor or left leg. Yeah, let's do that just so we have a bit more protection over there. And yes, let's end this episode here and I shall see you guys in the next one.